Whoops, that's the wrong intro. Um, things have got a little crazy here in the lockdown. But anyway, let's get into it. I've, I've actually lost the uh, footage from, somehow I've, I've lost quite a bit of footage for this uh, battery load testing, which I guess simply makes it a nice short video for you. So you've seen the diagram on how I've got it all wired up, you've seen that I have actually got it all wired up a bit like that, so I'm uh, going to rip into this load testing. What I intend to do is to just pour as much power out of that battery from the uh, maximum charge setting down to the minimum charge setting based on a cell voltage not on the battery voltage so I don't really care what the voltage is on the battery um, I'm interested only in what the individual cells are so when the highest cell is too high she's charged and it's charged right now and when the lowest cell is at its lowest then it's fully discharged and that's what we're going to find out today well actually not even today because it'll take quite a while but you'll find out in just a few minutes Well, it's been running all night long. So let's see. Here it's it. Still running 4.3 amps. But we're down to 83%, which is about 26.3 volts. 6.36 volts. So everything's pretty happy. Not surprisingly, no signs of any warmth anywhere. That's pretty cool. So here we are. Uh, maybe 24 hours later and we have used 107 amp hours or 2800 watt hours 2.8 kilowatt hours out of the battery have chosen a quieter load but I don't know it's like nearly 30 degrees here and standing in front of this fan it's kind of lovely so I'm doing all my work standing in front of this fan that is doing a lot of my work for me so uh, yeah noisy load limbs are brakes so that's pretty crappy that's my first load test stopped at 28% of what I theoretically should have had because one cell dropped to 2.8 volts. Now, I'm running fairly conservative settings, but it's this cell here, or this block of cells, and um, interestingly, they are 
the most swollen, the three most swollen cells. Anyway, um, they may settle a little bit with some cycling, so it's time to charge them up. Well, um, I was kind of hoping for a different outcome to that. Not really sure what that means. I guess I better do some more testing. Anyway, um, look, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to do some charge testing next to see how it reacts uh, as I charge it back up again. Um, and then I'll do maybe another load test or maybe a couple uh, to see if things improve or, um, or if this is as good as it's going to get. As I've mentioned, it's probably still good value, but nowhere near as good a value as um, what it could have been. So we'll see how we get on there. Take care. Matewa.